Hey guys, it's Matt here. This is my top apps for January of 2019. First app up is bottom quick settings. So this one is really good. If you can't reach the top of your screen, you can't actually pull down your quick settings, then this actually moves it to the bottom. So you can easily swipe up and you get all the same controls as you do at the top. You have a little bit of customization so you can change the tiles, where your sliders are, the colors, and also how big the handle is that you pull up. Okay, so up at app number two is Juke. So this one's pretty legit if you have a party. It's the world's first SMS jukebox. So it plays music on your phone, you can plug it into a speaker, and anyone can text your phone number with the keyword song, and then the song choice after that. So if they go ahead and send that, it will either add it to the queue, or it will go ahead and play the song. Pretty awesome if you're having a party, and it sure beats everyone telling you song requests and you having to go and put it on. Anyway, I thought this was a pretty awesome app to put on the list, so go ahead and check it out. Up next is one I found when I was trying to clean out my email inbox. So this one's called Cleanbox, and you can log into your email, it will scan through your newsletters, and then it will actually show you various different emails from people. You can either delete the email, keep the email if it's important, or you can delete and unsubscribe. So if you're getting loads of emails you don't want from various companies you've signed up for, you can easily get this app, hit delete and unsubscribe, and you will no longer be pestered by those emails. It's a pretty sweet interface, it's very minimal, uh, I've cleared out both my inboxes. Overall it's really good to keep on your device because you can go ahead and clear all the junk out from your inbox. Uh, it may occur quite often because you're signing up for various websites and stuff. But you can also go ahead and type my personal sponsor code in and it will allow me to get a tree planted. So it kind of helps the environment at the same time while it's clearing out your inbox. I guess it's a pretty cool idea. Up next is a pretty interesting app. Never seen anything like this before, but Google has experimented by bringing out this new augmented reality app where you can actually go ahead and draw live in the air. So it'll use all your sensors and tracking ability. You can go ahead and draw something by moving your phone and holding down, and then you can go ahead and move around and look at your drawing in different perspectives. You also have the ability to record your drawings, so you can go ahead and share that with other people, and overall, it's actually a really nice idea. You can also draw with different partners as well, so if they have the app, you can share a drawing. Up next is Otter. This one is a necessity if you're a student or you're having loads of meetings and you need to remember uh, someone talking about something. This is brilliant. This is like dictation, so whenever anyone talks, uh, your microphone picks it up and translates it into text, and then it's got a really good ability to play back your audio to find keywords that have been said, and you can also go ahead and search through it for specific parts you want to listen to. You can easily go ahead and share this, export it, and upload it to WordCloud, but overall it's a really nice app to have, especially if you need to remember lots of things, and you're also very slow at writing down, then this can be a lifesaver. It also has the ability to take photos, so that will easily go ahead and place it in context within the paragraph being talked about. The app up next is called Via. It's a browser, and it's probably one of the most minimal browsers that I've ever experienced. It has a few customization options, but overall, it's a super clean browser. It's all white, and you have a really cool toolbar section, which allows you to search the page, as well as change things into source code. And there's a few developer options as well, which is actually a nice touch. There's a couple customization options like I said, so you can change the logo of the homepage as well as the color, you can change the layout, and pretty much personalize it to your own taste. You can also change how it searches by changing the mode from Safari to Chrome to Firefox, which is in the settings. You can easily click the button at the bottom to create a new tab, and it's pretty simple to switch between them. If you hold down on the tab button, it will simply create a new one. And holding down on the menu button will actually refresh the page, so it saves you from reaching up and pulling down. But if you just want a new snappy browser that has no ads and is very slick, then this is probably one of the best options that you should try out. Up next is Minimal. This one is pretty minimal, it's in the name, but it is a screen recorder. So there's nothing in the app, it's a blank screen. You only have one option, which is to record. And it will go ahead and record at the top quality it will go ahead and work on Oreo as well as Android Pie, and it saves all your recordings in the gallery. You can easily go ahead and play them back in any video player of your choice. You do have a couple settings like the frame rate as well as to record audio, but other than that, it chooses the highest resolution, and it's a must have. Coming in at number eight is Gbox. So this one's for all you Instagrammers. If you're posting various photos like a swipeable photo, then this can easily create a panorama photo perfectly aligned so that people can swipe through it. It also has various filters like a glitch filter, which is actually nice to have. 
and you can go ahead and view people's profile photos at full size. So if you're not too sure who they are, you can easily go ahead and check. It also has the option to add some text and you can easily reverse it, have it upside down or create bubble text. And there's a lot of different customization options for your Instagram pictures. Next up is also to do with Instagram, it's hashtagify. So this one is actually brilliant. So if you have a photo and you don't know how to tag it, how to get the most likes, you can put it into this app. It will give you back the most popular hashtags associated with the photo. Easily you can go and copy those. It will show you the most popular ones. It will save them all into your history and it will actually show you the most popular tags overall. You can easily go ahead and click a button to copy them and you can easily paste it into your post. The last app up on my list is World Amazing Facts. If you're interested in learning something new every day, you can easily download this app and it has loads of different categories to choose from. It has listed in order of top facts and you can easily swipe through them all. It takes a second and you can learn something new every day. If you wanna share it with people, you can easily do that. You can also copy it to your clipboard, favorite things and pin them so you can easily get back to them later. It also has a search bar at the top and you can easily go ahead and search for different categories like houses or anything you want and it will try and find things related. Anyway guys, that's my top picks of the month for Android apps. Really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out guys. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the door through